Creating the Getting Dressed films involves a great deal of research, including visiting costume collections to examine, firsthand and in detail, the surviving clothes of other eras. This is our recent visit to Barrington Hall in Herefordshire, England, which houses the costume collection of Charles Paget Wade, once held at Wade's home of Snows Hill Manor. Wade, a champion of the arts and crafts movement, created the collection selecting items based on his dictum of colour, design and craftsmanship. This collecting strategy is very obvious when viewing the garments. Exquisite artistry is apparent in every item. Examining an item of clothing in a museum, especially when you plan to reproduce it, is a bit like conducting an interview. You need a list of questions you want answers to, as once the meeting is over, it might not be that easy to go back, and you need to make sure you take as many research photographs as possible to refer to later. Worn and damaged items are often quite informative, as the construction techniques and hidden layers may be revealed, and the simple act of holding an item up to the light can be illuminating. Many of the items in the collection have also been described in the books of Janet Arnold and Nancy Bradfield. The wearing of cotton gloves when handling fabric is now discouraged as they can damage fragile textiles and surface decoration. Nitrile gloves are often worn, but so long as hands are clean and free from lotions and handling is minimal, delicate and brief, then bare hands are acceptable. Each museum will have its own policies though. There is, at present, no permanent display for the costumes at Barrington Hall. To see them you will need to make an appointment, but it can be arranged at fairly short notice and the curator, Althea McKenzie, is a delightful and knowledgeable guide to the collection. Barrington Hall and the grounds are also well worth a visit.